Hello, 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 and thank you for joining Kava Ministry Midday Lift. We are so glad and honored that you have joined us for this week's Midday Lift. We've missed you all. We're into a new week, actually ending a new week. I know everybody just came out of Labor Day weekend. We hope and pray that you receive rest. Today's topic is about strife. What is strife? Strife is a bitter conflict or discord. It also creates animosity. Strife becomes um, a struggle. It causes clashes. It causes a quarrel. So strife has many elements and many results from the strife. So we're going to look at what the Bible talks about when it comes to strife. Now, one thing we can agree upon is that everyone has experienced some level of strife, whether it's within your family, your community, look around. You know, we label things nowadays. Everything has a label for it. Whether you agree with it or not, whether um, it's appropriate or not, but we use labels for everything when it to describe a behavior or an event. Um, so strife is one of those things. We hear the word Karen's, Karen has strife. That's a spirit. We talked about that before on one of our other midday lifts about certain behaviors. And that's one of them. Strife is a behavior and it's a spirit also. And the Bible talks tells us that one of the things that uh, God despises is strife. He does not like strife. With us having technology right at our fingertips today, it's very easy to create and maintain strife. Well, how? Would you ask that question or how? One of the ways is because of technology, we have Facebook, we have Instagram, we have YouTube, we have TikTok. TikTok, so if someone is upset about something, they're disgruntled about something, and they want the whole world to know, and if, if they have uh, enough people that uh, thinks like they do, uh, who likes to create strife and discord, they'll all chime in. And before you know it, you will have a quagmire of people agreeing with you and creating strife. And some people, that's where they live. That's their alley. That's their address. But I submit to you that it, that is not a healthy practice, nor is, is it a great way to live or to exist. And who wants to be around that environment of discord? Everything is always a problem. If you say it's blue, they'll say it's navy. If it's if it's red, they'll say it's rose. If it's a tomato, it's a tomato. So strife can start off sometimes innocent. Um, it can start off something small, but build into something huge if one person has an intent or their, their intention is to bring about a quarrel or an argument over something that is so insignificant and it takes so much energy to have strife. As I stated before, today in today's society is so easy to uh, create strife. And strife sometimes is, off, is built off of a lie or a poor perception um, and not having clarity in one's thinking or actions even. We live in, the, in a society today where everything is, is an offense. People get offended so easily. And that is because they have a lack of maturity. They don't like boundaries. They don't like being told what to do or how to do it, or there's limits put on something. And so for them, they become very offended. And it's almost, unfortunately, it's almost fashionable 
to be offensive or to declare everything is offensive and it causes strife. And that's not healthy. That's not a healthy environment to live in, nor is it a healthy environment to raise your children in. It's not healthy for your community. This should have this strife should have no place in your family, especially in the body of Christ. While sin should always offend us, we should never draw the line in the sand and create enemies out of anyone. We shouldn't create enemies out of anyone. If we want to gonna if we're gonna be upset or have an enemy, be have an enemy against sin. Let sin be your enemy. Let the enemy be your enemy, but never against another person. Um, so we want to make sure that our lives are stress free. We want to make sure of that. Luke 15 and 1 talks about the tax collector and sinners and how they were all drawing close to him. And the Pharisees and the Sadducees grumbled, saying, this man receives sinners and eats with them. They were talking about Jesus. And he did draw sinners to him. But the Pharisees and the Sadducees, I mean, the Pharisees and the scribes, I'm sorry, their attitude about it, they were causing strife. And they were very disrespectful in regards to um, Jesus and the way he went about drawing people to him and and teaching them and speaking to them and showing them love and consideration. And so for them, um, they thought it was a horrible thing and they were disgruntled about it. They were causing strife. Um, so we don't want to have any strife within ourselves, as I stated before. We don't want to have any strife within our communities, within our within our homes, within our children, our family members, our parents. Uh, we don't want to have strife. So I suggest to you that if there's some strife in your household, um, come together. It's easier to have peace and show peace. The Bible says um, that if we, have, if we have peace, he will draw all men unto him. So we want to have the spirit of peace and we want to um, have a spirit of um, hopefulness and redemption and not um, strife, calamity, and confusion. I pray that you receive something from this uplift today. I'll leave you with one more scripture. 2 Corinthians 5 and 17 says, if there's any man in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. The old things passed away. Behold, the new is come. So if you have a renewed mind, you are a renewed mind from being in Christ Jesus, then you won't go back to the same things. We fight against those things. And if you have been a strife builder or a person that, lived in strife, those things will pass away and you're now a new creature. I pray and hope that you receive something from this lesson today. Um, as we continue to move forward in our series of Midday Lift, please continue to support Kavra Ministries. Go to our YouTube page, like us, and we'll continue to move forward in the areas that God has called us for. Um, we pray and hope that you've received something from this particular lesson today. Peace and blessings to you.